what is up everyone how are you all doing hopefully you are amazing so today we're just gonna hop in and do a quick collective reading and see what comes out see what spirit wants to talk about spirit what is going on with the collective at this time okay so there could be a lot of indecision being revealed right now a lot of indecision or juggling multiple things here or just being really busy um but it seems to me that you've been balancing things quite beautifully here Let's see what else we got tell me more about this two of pentacles for the collective please and thank you spirit you slid right out so this could be for some of you in regards to a love offer or like some kind of a connection here. This could have been something that you have either taken some time apart from or you have healed from it completely or you're healing from it. This could have something to do with a water sign here. We have judgment and reverse. It feels like whatever lessons that were supposed to have taken place with the situation are either still being learned or this water sign here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, has not learned their lesson here. Hang on one second. Let me close my bedroom door. <coughs> I live in the desert and I have to have my AC on because it is too hot. All right. Tell me more about this situation, Spirit. What is going on with this person? This person could even be thinking about reaching out to you. What does this person want to say? We have temperance in reverse, and we have the star in reverse. This person might want to reach out to you to like tell you that things like aren't okay with them lately. Maybe this person needs somebody to talk to. We have the Knight of Swords. <clears throat> This person could be drinking a lot and it feels like they might have some things on their mind that they want to talk to you about, things that they want to tell you. Tell me more about the situation. We have the Ace of Cups here. This person could be trying to come at you with like a fresh start or a new cup here, but don't be fooled because they're really not in a good place at this time. And chances are that's probably why you've disconnected from this person. This could be a friend, family member, lover, um, you fill in the blank here. What does this person want to talk about with the collective? Again, this person, it's like they want to tell you how hard life has been for them and how things have been challenging. It feels like They've been hit with a stroke of bad luck. Feels like things just aren't panning out. Things aren't manifesting for them. It's like they don't even know where to turn or what to do right now. Tell me more about this situation. 
five of wands in reverse. I feel like this person is like, they're done. This could have been somebody that was like trying to compete with you in some area here or like they saw you as like some sort of like a secret competitor or this person just could have been like full of straight drama. But it's like, I feel like this person has been so defeated that they've like given up here given up on like what their previous like mindset or notion was what are this person's intentions We have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, the Seven of Cups in reverse, and the Eight of Swords in reverse. I feel like this person Again, it's like they've given up on trying to create drama here. This could be somebody who, like, if you do practice magic or, like, any form of, like, witchcraft, this person, I mean, this person could be practicing some form of witchcraft or magic. And it feels like maybe some of you have done a return to sender and it's hitting them really hard. I feel like they, it's like they no longer are trying to like put in the work to create chaos or confusion here. It's like they're done, you know? I feel like they're holding up their white flag. All right, spirit. What is the outcome of the situation? What is the outcome? The Ten of Swords here. In reverse. See, upright, this means that this person has been backstabbed and betrayed. And left for dead. But in reverse, it's almost like the swords are falling out of this person's back here. And it's like, I feel like this person has learned their lesson here. And I feel like I feel like this person has learned their lesson and knows not to betray you or other people ever again. Do you have any advice, spirit? Advice for the collective? We have the page of wands. Ooh, sideways. Page of Wands in reverse. And the Seven of Wands sideways. Give me one more. And the Magician in reverse. I feel like your advice here, because it feels like this person did throw some dark magic at you. But with the Seven of Wands in reverse, it's like you have done a pretty good job blocking it. But I feel like some of you might need to do some extra like uncrossing spells 
or some sort of a cleansing ritual here. Um, put your like energetic wards or guards up here so this person can't break through. Um, it just feels like there's some lingering energy here that needs to be cleared up. And that's what you're advising. And we have, um, yeah, we have the Six of Wands underneath the deck here. So I feel like once, once you clear yourself of whatever this person's energetic cords were, I feel like that'll help bring in more success for you. And if this person reaches out to you, it's really up to you to decide like whether you not whether you want to engage with this person or not. I mean, it feels like they have uh, thrown some pretty nasty energy your way or they're just like walking chaos. Um, <clears throat> but if you do choose to engage with this person, definitely protect yourself. Alrighty, Collective, thank you so much. Have a good night. Bye.